Hello, good morning, royalty. I am God Gift Austin, your regular host on this channel and the presiding pastor of Royal Councils of God. Today we continue on why royalty should feast on their meal. Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 17 says that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly bred or equipped for every good work. Amen. This is the fifth reason from 2 Timothy chapter 3, 15 to 17. Remember, we look at the word of God as its inspiration and profitable to giving to us for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction. We have looked at those four items. Today, we are looking at it as a profitable tool that complete a man of God. To do that, we have to take a dive into the meaning of the word complete. Amen? From the dictionary, it, it says having every necessary or normal part or component or sex. Perfect and complete in every respect. Having all necessary qualities. Highly skilled not lacking any part or member that properly belong to it. It also means to bring to an end and especially into a perfected state. Covering everything or all important points. Having or showing exceptional knowledge, experience or skill in a field of endeavor to bring something to a state where nothing remains to be done. In summary, to bring something to a state where nothing what, remains to be done, that is what perfect complete. The royalty's meal, freely given to us without any cost, does all this to men who give their time to it. The truth, it completes you and nothing else does that. No book, no time, no money, nothing else does complete a man than the word of God. And that is a royal thing because you are a royal thing. How does the word of God complete a man? This meals complete people when they give their time in the place of studies. Like we see in the book of Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. It says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you, one, present your bodies. First of all, first thing what is to present your bodies. How? As a living sacrifice, one. As a holy vessel, two. As acceptable sacrifice or offering to God, three. And it says what? That these are your only reasonable service. Until these are done, you cannot be completed. The world cannot complete you. It can't make you perfect. It can't transform you. It can't work on your life. Two is that do not conform to this world. Take something from that passage. For we what? Be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So for the meal to be to make you complete. You must release yourself to him without reservation. It must be God of all, else he is not God at all in your life. You must be ready to have him as the owner of your life and not your guest, like some people think. It is a wonderful venture to allow God to work in your life. Praise God. So you must allow God to have his way in our life, have the run in our life. Until we allow him to be the God of all in our life, he can never be the God, the God at all and he cannot make you complete. Shall we pray? Almighty God, I thank you for bringing us words today and breathing upon us through sin. We submit to your will for a complete transformation henceforth in Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, I encourage you to be part of this work. 
subscribe to our channel, view the messages, like them, share to everyone, and click on the notification button for regular updates. Until I come your way again, keep basking in the euphoria of God's love. God bless you.